So my starting hand, we've got Humpty Dumpty, we've got the doll, we've got Drew doll, we've got the magnet dolls, two copies of those. So actually we can do quite a bit with this hand. I could bring out number 88 Gimmick Puppet of Leo if I wanted to. Oh, and my opponent seems to have quit. It's a shame. Because I would have loved to bring out that card at least once. So in this one, we seem to have drawn a bit more balance. There's a couple of spells, a couple of monsters, and a trap card. We've got a gear change, the bisque doll, the spell card, a couple of spell cards are fine, and we've got jelly cannon. Puppet ritual, mm, not the best start. You are relying on having multiple cards already in your graveyard to set up. could use Condolence Puppet, but it wouldn't give me much of setup, but I don't think I have much of a choice. It's either that or I just end my turn. I'll set my Jelly Cannon, so I've got some form of protection. My opponent activates the spell card to start off with. And that's a fusion deployment. They chose the Cyber Twin Dragon and they get to special summon a Cyber Dragon. They then normal summon a different Cyber Dragon card. I choose not to use the effect of the Jelly Cannon, I don't think there's any point.
I drew into Game It Perfect Dreary Doll. This is what I needed. So I'll start off by special summoning my Abyss Doll and sending a Dreary Doll to the graveyard. I can then summon my gear change. Use its effect to copy the level of this doll. And we'll overlay the two monsters together to become number 30. Well, number 40, give it a puppet of strings. I decide to use its effect to generate a string counter on each of the monsters. I know I won't be able to hit both, but at least if I can defeat one in battle and then the next turn have the other one self-destruct. I also use the condolence puppet effect for the spell card. But my opponent uses Ash Blossom. That's fine, uh, at least I know it's one card that's out of their hand. I'll attack with number 40 gimmick puppet of strings. I'll go straight into the cyber dragon. My opponent sets a card face down and they tribute over their monster to summon a cyber dragon. Before ending their turn. Unfortunately because they've gotten rid of the string counter, uh, there's no self destruction in there. But at least I kind of scared them off. I draw. That is probably the worst card I could have drawn into for the time being. I don't have the chaos version of that card. 
have the chaos version for the other cards. But otherwise it's a wasted draw. And here we go, we've got Cybernetic Overflow. So they'll banish cards to destroy the two cards I've got on the field. Luckily for me, I have my Puppet Ritual and luckily that my opponent's life points are 4,000, almost 4,000 points difference. I mean, it's only 2,000 that's necessary for the gap to bridge. But I'm able to then just special summon both of those monsters back. In this case, I'm actually going to do something quite interesting, and the first time I've summoned number 15. You might be wondering why I've summoned number 15. Well, because I have the opportunity to bring out its chaos form this time, I might as well. It also means I'll be doing some more damage, because I'll be doing the effect damage to begin with, and then the battle damage. Here we go, we've got Gimmick Puppet. Giant Hunter. This one has the effect where you can detach the material, destroy the monster on your opponent's field, that's face up, They, it can be face up or face down, and they take life point damage equal to that monster's attack points. Unfortunately, it is a once per turn effect, but it does not discriminate between face down and face up monsters. First thing I'm going to get rid of is the Drury Doll, because frankly, it's the card that can be recovered from the graveyard if necessary. I then go straight into the battle phase and do another 2,500 points of damage. That is probably the worst draw I could have had for now. But I don't know what my opponent has faced down, that's what's concerning me. Best thing for me to do is to just wipe out that card. So I'll start off with going for the effect of my Drury Doll. Actually, I'm thinking of... I'm having a read of this first. I think this has the ability to protect my monsters when they activate their effects. So I'm going to banish my number 40. Well, actually, I'm going for gear change.
I'll normal summon my gear change. Now it's time to adjust its level. And we'll be going this time into number 40, Gimmick Puppet of Strings. This is the first time I've got both of these monsters on the field at the same time. I'll use the effect of Rank Up Magic Argent Force. And when I summon a, I think it's a rank 5 or a higher Xyz monster, it returns from the graveyard to the hand. Unfortunately, my opponent does quit. I would have liked to have seen what they had face down in defense mode. But I would have won in that turn, regardless of what he did. ranked up from silver tier 3 to silver tier 2 and that's a further 100 gems enough to get one pack of something. I don't know whether I'm going to go for the gimmick puppets because I think I've got most of them or whether I'm going to go for a different pack. I think I'm looking at the heraldries, the heraldry crests, just to see what they're about. There's nothing in there that's screaming by me. So I think I'll be sticking with the chronomalies. Actually, we did go for a heraldic crest monsters. Uh, there's nothing really great in that pack. Marshalling fields I already had. Heraldry beasts card is okay. This one is the one that adjusts your machine type monsters to make them all either between the levels of 5 and 9. You've got an Amazonas card in there, there's a Zexal Weapon, Tornado Bringer, a Gagaga Bolt.
hopefully by the end of this we'll be getting to the gold rank. So in my starting hand I have the Puppet Ritual Spell Card, I've got the Condolence Puppet, the Drury Doll, a Ring of Destruction and Waking the Dragon. This is an awful hand, this is the problem with many of the gimmick puppets, they just block the hand unless you've got multiple ones that set up for each other. It's a very cohesive chain, if anything blocks it or stops it, that's it, it's broken. My opponent hasn't gone off anyway, they've just set a card and ended their turn. Again, I've drawn into something that I just don't need at the moment. I need a monster, that's what I need. I choose to set the Ring of Destruction and Waking the Dragon before ending my turn. My opponent just ends their turn. So I don't know whether they're just being lenient on me or whether they just don't have a good hand. I finally draw into Egghead, which is probably one of their best level 4 monsters in terms of its attack. I use the effect of my egghead to inflict 800 points of damage by discarding my Drury Doll. It makes sense to do that, Drury Doll's effect activates from the graveyard and summoning it normally would be a pain for no reason. At least this way there's 800 points of damage plus the 1600 by direct attack.
my opponent finally activates a spell card. Searching for their Sword Soul monster. I know it's a nightmare to just have that card out, so I'm just going to get rid of it immediately using Ring of Destruction. And my opponent immediately quits. So in this case my opponent is running a Cyber Dragon deck, they've got the Cyber Dragon Hurts and the other Cyber Dragon Monster which boosts them by 500 attack points. I have my Scissor Arms, I've got my Shadow Feeler, I've got the Bistol, the Puppet Parade and Condolence Puppet in my hand. They link away those two monsters, monsters for the Cyber Dragon Seizure. And then they call forth a Cyber Dragon to the hand. They activate their Cyber Repair Plant, which brings a Cyber Dragon Nashta from the deck to the hand. They activate the effect of Cyber Dragon Nashta, sending their Cyber Dragon to the graveyard. To special summon itself and revive a Cyber Dragon from the graveyard to the field. They activate their machine duplication. Summoning a second Cyber Dragon and a third to the field. They overlay two of their Cyber Dragons together to become Cyber Nova Dragon. And they overlay Cyber Nova Dragon to become Cyber Dragon Infinity. I'll use the effect of my Bistol to send my Shadow Feeler to the graveyard to special summon itself. I 
I then summon my scissor arms to try and bait an effect negation using the Cyber Dragon Infinity. Because I want to save the condolence puppet. And it works. They take the bait and they get rid of my scissor arms. I then activate my condolence puppet. I get to choose between 1 and 3 to send to the graveyard. I'm sending the Gimmick Fabric Drury Doll, the Magna Doll, and the Twilight Joker all to the graveyard. Using the effect of Drury Doll, I will banish my Magnet Doll. I then decide which of the numbers I'm going to go for. I decide on number 15. I think that's the best since the one time negation per turn has been used by Cyber Dragon Infinity. I'll set that in defense mode. I'll activate the effect of my condolence puppet, which provides my number 15 with a level of protection. With number 15's effect, I choose to send Druridal to the graveyard to get rid of Cyber Dragon Infinity. And my opponent takes 2,100 points of damage. I use the effect again to detach my Bistol. And this time I'm going after Seizure.
I go to my end phase and end the turn. So that's not too bad. I was able to bait out the infinity and to be able to use my proper tactics to bring out number 15 and destroy two link monsters. Unfortunately, whilst they have a cyber dragon on the field, this does become a bit of an issue itself. And they've activated their cyber repair plant. This will let them recover a cyber dragon. And they've gone with Cyber Dragon Dry. With the effect of Cyber Dragon Dry, they're able to turn their monsters into level 5s. And overlay the two monsters together to bring forth a Cyber Dragon Nova. My opponent is able to bring out a seizure as part of the recovery of the effect of Cyber Dragon Nova. And they're able to then rank up their monster into the Cyber Dragon Infinity. The Cyber Dragon Infinity absorbs Cyber Dragon Dry to make it 2700 attack monster. and they're able to get over my number 15. Seizure so then attacks me directly. I use the effect of my gimmick puppet shadow feeler in the graveyard. But that gets negated by the Cyber Dragon Infinity. During my turn, I draw into a gimmick puppet destroy. But I don't think anything is going to help me now. Um, firstly, the effect isn't going to bring anything beyond the gear change to my field. Secondly, that's only if they were allowed me to do that. That's going to be negated easily by the Cyber Dragon Infinity. The 
effect of my Drury Doll activates from the graveyard. I'm going to banish a card or attempt to banish a card to bring it back. And then hopefully normal summon that change, gear change, to change the level of it and then attack over my opponent's monster. Or to go into number 15 again. As I thought, my opponent's just going to negate that effect, which is fine, it's just the way it is. And there really isn't anything I can do. Unfortunately, my connection seems to die. But it would have been the same effect anyway. I wouldn't have won. There was no way for me to win. The monsters, the cards I had in my hand, there was no way of getting past it. See if we can unlock any more cards. There's a couple of what seems to be gems. So I've got 40 additional gems. That's enough to get one pack. So I'm going to be unlocking this pack one more time, see what I get, if there's anything useful. There's one secret rare in here. There's a Clifford card, there is the kind of weird looking Chaos Normal Xyz monsters. And we have one Possessed Partnerships, which is related to the Charmer monsters. And it just lets you special summon the ones with 1,500 defense, so those are the Charmers. It could be the Familiar Possessed or the Normal Charmers, they both have that stat for defense. I 
And I've unlocked a new pack because of it. Spiritual Mastery. And that seems to be it. That's as much of the pack we can get for the time being. It's a shame I would have liked to have gotten some of the number exceeds monsters within this pack, but that was as it is. You know, you can't always predict this. This is just the nature of how the packs work. 